Hi, welcome to Technical Tuesday. My name's Andy Dudley and behind me is the 12 XPC track. Bandit Industries have been producing hand-fed chippers for nearly 40 years. The 12 XPC has been in the UK for nearly two years as customers were asking us for a lighter weight, high capacity hand-fed chipper. The 12 XPC can come in a road tow format and it can also come, as you can see behind me, in a tracked format. What I'm going to do now is take you around the machine and point out some of the benefits and features. The 12 XPC is a drum style chipper with a 12 inch chipping capacity. The 24 inch drum features four reversible knives mounted at 90 degree intervals around the drum. The knives cut against an adjustable anvil blade but an extra feature is the rope shear bar. If a climbing rope accidentally gets fed into the machine the knives will cut the rope at the first anvil and then also at the rope shear bar. This stops the rope getting wound around the drum. The chip exits the drum housing into the transition and then into the discharge chute. Your discharge chute is height adjustable with the adjuster here and it's also adjustable for direction with this hand crank adjuster here. Not only that we've got two clean out panels We've got one in the elbow of the discharge and one panel in the transition. Just in case you ever get the discharge chute or transition blocked with wood chip, it gives you easy access in to clean it out. Powering the machine is a three litre, 89 horsepower petrol engine. From the engine, we come into the manual clutch housing. Clutch is engaged with the lever here and that takes drive down through your multi V belt to your drum. Now you may be wondering why a petrol engine? Well a petrol engine is lighter in weight than its diesel counterpart but not only that a petrol engine is cheaper so that means we can pass the cost savings on to you the customer. The 12 XPC features a track system which is made by VTS. We have manual override valves here with two levers and we have a radio remote system the radio remote system is made by Scanrico and is fully proportional. So the two joysticks here that control the tracks, the further you push the joystick forward, the quicker the machine goes. The chassis of the machine is made from C-section steel. This is lighter in weight than the traditional box section chassis. With a lightweight petrol engine and a lightweight chassis, the overall weight for this machine is 2,840 kilos. Now when you combine this and the Motive TC3000 trailer, which is what you saw at the beginning of the film, you get an overall weight of just under three and a half tonnes. The 12 XPC features twin feed wheels with an in-feed opening of 14 inches high by 17 inches wide. As you can see around the hopper we have the red safety bar system, so in case of an emergency press on that bar anywhere around the hopper and the feed wheels will stop. On the side of the hopper we have two control buttons for the feed system and this is replicated on the opposite side as well. So we have the green button so one press of that will start the feed system and pull material in. The black button here is press and hold for reverse and that will reverse the material out of the infeed hopper. On the top of the infeed we've got an emergency stop button here and again one over on the other side so in case of an emergency push the button in, that will kill the engine and the hydraulic system. And then below that, again replicated on the other side, is the famous Bandit hydraulic top lift. This lever here controls the hydraulic top lift function of your top feed wheel and it allows you to crush material coming into the infeed hopper. Now I've shown you around the machine, I'm going to start it up and show you some of the functions working.
thank you very much for watching today's Technical Tuesday. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. Also, please feel free to like, share and subscribe to our other social media channels. And I look forward to speaking to you next time.